Hello, good morning. It's Thursday the 2nd. I'm FX Plu and this is the Market Brief. So we've seen predictions of a V-shaped or a U-shaped recovery driven by the initial rise in activity. Retail footfall has been encouraging, despite of course being well below uh, the levels this time last year. But any activity boost we saw as the economy began to open up was a bit of a false friend and the true picture of job losses is beginning to emerge. This week we've seen more than 12,000 jobs lost, mostly among uh, large high street employers like John Lewis who confirmed that some of their stores won't reopen at the weekend. Um, MPC member Jonathan Haskell uh, expressed his concern over rising employment. He feels the Bank of England policy is, is, is about right uh, but job losses they could be a problem and it's something that they're keeping an eye on. Um, UK manufacturing was a little more encouraging. Yes, the sector is dwarfed by the service sector in the UK, but activity expanded between May and June. Of course, any expansion was minimal, but there's a little light at the end of the tunnel. And that was reflected in the market too, as sterling rose to about 124.90 against the dollar and just shy of 111 against the euro. But the main focus today is, of course, non-farm payrolls a day early this month because of Independence Day. So pin your ears back because I'd like you to play along with a guess in the comments below. Uh, yesterday we had ADP uh, data, that's the report on private sector employment, and that number was positive posting close to 2.4 million new jobs created. But it did fall short of expectations and there was a 25% drop from the May number. Meanwhile, the headline number for the sweepstake is forecast around 3 million new jobs created. Last month, of course, we saw a big surprise to the upside with 2.5 million jobs created. So if we hit the forecast at 3 million, it'll be the exact opposite of ADP, around 25% better than May. So far, we've had an early call of 2 million. Thanks, Tom. Thanks for playing along. Um, and I'm also going for a miss against forecast. I'm in it to win it at about 1.5 million this month. Drop me a number in the comments below and we'll add you to that whizzy little graphic before the close. And as always, of course, I wish you very good luck. Um, Eurozone manufacturing is still in contraction at 47.4 and German unemployment data showed fewer jobs created. Unemployment rose to 6.4%. Eurozone unemployment is out today where uh, the rate is expected to rise to 7.7% but all eyes will remain on the US for the non-farm sweepstake. Euro dollar traded around you know, 112.50, 112.75 and these levels are likely to continue uh, ahead of the payroll data which may provide a little more direction. So that's it from me today. As a reminder, I'm going for one and a half million in the sweepstake, but I get it wrong more often than not. But don't let that stop you playing along. Pop a guess in the comments below and see how you get on later. All the best. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.